guys, it's me, this is Bea, and welcome to my channel. Today, it's going to be a really, really quick video. Dahil marami akong nare-receive na email, marami akong nare-receive na comments dun sa isa kong video about online jobs on PH. Well, apparently, marami sa atin ang affected dun sa pagkakaroon nila ng new verification process. And magugulat tayo dahil ang ating mga ID scores or ID proof ay bumaba. Ako ang nangyari sa akin, 90 ata ako before this thing happened. 90 yung ID proof score natin and then it went down to 45. I thought it was an isolated case but then I asked other friends kung ganun din ba yung nangyari sa kanila and it's the same. So from 70 or from 80, nag siyang 45. Tapos, ang ginawa ko lang, I just followed the verification process. Naglagay ulit ako ng government ID natin. Naglagay din ako ng billing address. Yes, but I still haven't got the, the photo na may selfie. But I think you have to complete it as well. Tapos, after ilang days, wait it out. Wait it out. Tingnan nyo muna kung magbabago yung ID proof score nyo. Minsan kasi instant, minsan hindi. So, tingnan nyo lang ng ilang days kapag nagbago, then good. Pero kapag hindi, I suggest that you reach out to their support team. And if there are additional documents that you have to submit, like for example, ang, ang usually ko na tatanggap na email is that um, yung billing address nila because they're renting, hindi siya na-approve. Then what I could suggest and the best solution that I could think of is that you send your contract and your billing address to the support team and explain your side. So from there, kaya naman nilang tignan and to verify if that is really you. Okay? Uh, hindi ko rin alam kung bakit nagkaroon ng new process but maybe there's a surge ng applicants or para lang din makita nila na totoong tao at ikaw mismo ang nag apply for that job. So, sobrang bilis lang naman yun. It should take you less than 15 minutes to complete the verification process. Wait it out for a couple of days. Kapag wala pa rin nangyari at hindi nagbago ang ID score natin, then you can always send an email to their support team. And ako, nag-email ako sa kanila, nagsagot naman sila or sumagot naman sila less than 48 hours. So, it should be fine. I know that this could be very stressful for most of us dahil gusto na nating mag-apply. Tapos, hindi tayo makapag-apply dahil ang baba ng ID score. So, I suggest that you do something about it, verify correctly. And, yun nga, kapag walang nangyari is you can always reach out to them directly. I hope this helped and I have to go now and I have to work. If you have questions, please send me your inquiries or just comment down below. Bye!